What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. Life is crazy around here, um, and a couple hints of thing, next things coming up on the channel here on the bench. But today I wanted to go over uh, the awesome rollout uh, rolling tool chest. So I went into Home Depot. They said they were in stock. Um, turns out they had get, just got off the semi. So you're now starting to see these rolling packout boxes available in store. I'm excited about it. I bought one as soon as it came out uh, or come off the truck at the store. You're going to get my review on it today. Stay tuned. All right, so I just set this up for flooring, uh, flooring, staplers, nailers, everything I need to uh, take on a job site for uh, doing hardwood, laminate, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've got two nailers in here, a 25 foot hose. I got my roofing nailer, coil nailer. Uh, so the overall size of the box is pretty giant. Um, I really don't have any problem fitting all this stuff in here. Um, I kind of just uh, set it up the best way that I thought possible. Uh, I'll, I'll probably reconfigure it a couple more times, um, but nonetheless, it does fit a lot of stuff. So when it fits a lot of stuff, it's also very heavy. The box is rated for 250 pounds. Uh, I have no doubt that it will carry that much, uh, but even with it set up like this, I probably have you know 100 pounds worth of stuff here. Uh, this box being this size is going to be a two-man lift. There's no way, unless I have a trailer with a ramp door, I'm not gonna be able to load this by myself. So uh, I was a little caught off guard by the the arm that holds the door open. Um, I know that a, a couple people had uh, shown that in previous videos, uh, but you know, not bad that it locks open, but it's a little loose, you know, and then you just press this little unlock button and then it closes. Now, having the ability to stack two packout stacks on top of this thing, I can imagine that it's like uh, hauling around a casket uh, that weighs, you know, 300, 400 pounds. Um, the handle does come out a good deal, and I noticed that when you're walking with it, uh, there's no way that you're going to clip your uh, ankles on the box. Um, one thing I don't like about this handle is it doesn't come out and actually lock. So. Uh, unless I'm missing something, it doesn't come out and actually lock, um, or there's not even a detent. So, uh, you know, where it comes out, it comes out, and then that's it, and then it goes back in. So there's no, no detent. Uh, there's a small detent that locks it in, but there's no detent out on this side. So I can imagine that, you know, uh, with a bigger box, people put more stuff in it, so it's just going to get really, really heavy. Um, this setup here, I'll need you know another person to help me load it in the truck uh, because I'd either put it in the truck or in the trailer, and you know it's going to just be gargantuan. But yeah, so th those are my thoughts on it. Um, it's a very well built box. I mean, it's pack out. Uh, it, you know. There's, there's spots for locks, there's nice latches. I mean, it's pack out all the way. Uh, putting more stuff on it is just going to get ridiculously heavy. Um, pulling this over a step right now as is, is gonna be very cumbersome um, to even go up a, a set of steps, steps into a customer's home. It's going to be uh, pretty darn heavy. But, but uh, for storing stuff like this and having a bunch of stuff all in one place, you know, not too shabby. Uh, is it worth the money? Ah, uh, I mean, that's for you to decide. Uh, I was previously storing all this stuff in bags, so I had a bag for each nailer, um, you know, and it was like, you know, I had my coil nailer in a bag to protect it, and then I had my nails, you know, haphazardly thrown in there. So before, I didn't really have any good storage solutions for all this stuff. All of my nails were in a tote, so I've got out of a small tote, and I got you know, a little tray to put them in kind of makes sense. But, you know, uh, now I have it all in one place. Not really happy that a lot of the stuff is going to bang together, but it is what it is. Uh, there is room for dividers in this. So if you wanted to put an actual divider piece in here, you know, that's definitely an option for you. Um, it really doesn't work for what I want to outfit it 
you know, just like this, it really didn't work. Um, it would have been sweet to put my small air compressor in here, but, but then it just gets heavier and heavier. So, uh, yeah, that's that. All right, so my initial thoughts about the box are it's awesome, it's big, it's expensive. Um, would I buy multiple of them? No, I'm probably gonna only have it for that case there where I have all my nailers and um, pneumatic stuff for job site and flooring all in one spot. Um, I don't think I'll be buying a second one. Very, very cumbersome. It's gonna take two people to load it in anything I do. Uh, it practically, you know, it probably weighed 30 pounds empty. I didn't weigh it, but uh, it was, you know, even hard to get into uh, a trunk, you know, when I brought it home. So it's just one of those things, you're gonna need a truck or a trailer to transport this thing uh, or a large SUV and need two people to load it if you plan on putting a lot of tools in it. So. Uh, just be weary of that. A lot of people are going to say it's not worth the price. Um, at the $245 price point with tax, uh, you know, it's a hard buy. I mean, it really took, you know, the only reason I bought it is because I'm here on YouTube and, you know, I'm getting a little bit of kickback from people that watch the channel. So I appreciate you. You guys are the reason why I can buy things and review them like I do. But otherwise, if I didn't have a YouTube channel and, uh, I really could not justify this for my business. Um, I could not justify, you know, taking the nailers out of the bags uh, and, and putting them in a big tote like this. Thank goodness I have a full-time helper and he can help me load and unload the tools, but it's going to be cumbersome. So just think about that in the future. Um, that if you're looking into this box or you want validation because you just bought this box and spent the money, um, yeah, it's gonna be a hard sell for me, and it's a hard sell for a lot of guys. You put more packouts on it, it's gonna get way, way heavier. So those are my thoughts on it. Give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you're subscribed to the channel, which you should be, we'll see you guys in the next video.